Where are we? Henry's Fork. Henry's Fork. All right, and he's off. Jay just landed his first fish of Henry's Fork. And it's a pretty guy. Look at that. A nice fish. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah? There he goes. Here he goes. So I also have my waders on right now. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and get It's been a very long time since I have done it. But um, yeah, I figured I'd just get in and enjoy the water. I think one of the neatest things about this is watching your better half so content and I don't know, just brings a lot of happiness to me. We are, that's all crooked. I don't know what we're doing for dinner or sleeping or any of that stuff. So I guess that's what we're gonna try and figure out now. But we are leaving Henry's Fork and tomorrow I'd like to get up super early, beat some of the crowds to Yellowstone, we'll see about that. And then at some point tomorrow, we are going to start heading north to Missoula, Montana. My mom's college roommate is from that area, and she also has a lake house nearby. And she's graciously offered to put us up for a night or two. And her lake house is not far from Glacier National Park. So I'm super excited about that. I was there years ago on a family vacation and always said that I wanted to go back we can make that happen this time um, but I'm gonna hop off here and help figure out what we're doing tonight uh, 
last night we were camped and when I tell you that the mosquitoes were of biblical levels, I've never witnessed anything like like what I saw last night in my entire life. Like, let's let's get a little gander. There's our first victim. Second. Second victim. Third. They're all over the place. Um, there is smashed mosquito stew all over the inside of my car. Comes with the territory, I guess. Now on the right, you're going to see some <laughs> cows. Now these are free-ranging, gluten-free type type cows. You see, they uh, they some good eating. <laughs> free? What are free-ranging, gluten-free cows? I don't know those things. I <laughs> uh, can't take you anywhere. Okay, we are in a motel that is a part of like a steakhouse and bar, probably the coolest room that we have been in. So they actually have two queen beds in here and we're right by Big Sky Montana right now at, I'm not even sure which, which side of uh, Yellowstone that is, but uh, it was definitely the most affordable place we found. I think it was like 120 or something like that. And just to give you an idea, the Best Western. Turn this around. So just to give you an idea, the Best Western right outside of one of the entrances to the park was $280 for a Best Western. Uh, so it's super expensive to stay near here. Uh, we wanted to camp, but everything was full. Plan is to wake up early tomorrow morning, get up before the sun rises, and hit the road. And I'm really hoping to get some awesome pictures as the sun is coming up. I don't know what time they start like manning the entrance to the park. But everybody says to try and get there earlier to beat some of the crowds. I know it's still going to be busy. It's peak tourist season in Yellowstone. But we're just going to make the best of it and enjoy it. So um, today was really good. And I know Jay really had a good day. And it was relaxing and the weather was beautiful. So uh, we're just going to get into bed and call it a day. Hopefully get some good rest. And we'll see you all in the morning. Good night.